Hey Tom, good to see you. How you doing sis? Good to see you Jimmy. You been alright uncle? You been up to country lately? He was up there a month or two ago. Is that right sis? Yeah, yeah, yeah about that. How's all the mob? <laughs> yeah, they're all good. Good. Now uncle, I've heard that you've been talking to Sarah the nurse. And she's told me that you're in a little bit of pain and you're breathless. Yeah. I don't want them to put me on that morphine. Remember, sis? Mm -hmm. When they gave it to Annie Joyce, that morphine made her real drowsy. Mm -hmm. She couldn't even speak. Mm -hmm. And then she died the next day. I'm not staying here. Oh we can manage it, I <sighs> Anyway, I want to see Uncle Joe. Yeah, that's okay, Dad. I'll talk to Uncle Joe. We'll get him to come out of the yarn, okay? But let's listen to what Sarah has to say first, hey? Tom, it's understandable that your experience with Auntie Joyce would make you cautious about morphine. We would use a small amount to help manage your pain and breathing without making you drowsy. From what you're saying, it's really important for you to be awake and not drowsy, is that right? Yeah. Not drowsy. I want to be awake so I can have a yarn with everybody. Mm. Keep in control. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Mm. Let me look at this brochure with you. It's good. It tells you all about morphine and how it might help you. It helps explain the medical jargon. Let's go through it together. OK, Tom, so does that make a little more sense now about why we're wanting to use morphine to help control your pain and breathing? Well, why don't you have a yarn with your family? I'll go and have a chat with the doctors now. I'll come back and we can talk through anything that you need to. Hey, Sarah, I'll start tracking down Uncle Joe. Who's Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe is an elder back in country. He's what you call our traditional healer. It's really important that he's part of all the decisions that are made. OK. Does he need to come down here or can we get him on the phone? Oh, we can get him on the phone. OK. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and set up a family meeting via a teleconference. Would that be OK? Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Sarah. OK. Jimmy, I wondered if you'd like us to move your dad into a single room up near the entrance of the ward. There's a big area there where your whole family can wait mm. and probably visit your dad in larger numbers than just the usual two visitors at a time policy. Sounds great, thank you. OK. Mm. Is there anything else that you need right now? Dad knows he's not going to make it back home to country to die. I really do think he needs to share his stories with the folks back home. I think he really needs to say his final goodbyes. It's really important.